welcome to the History Hunter and my small adventures out looking for the past. Today it's the World War II time frame I'm looking for, so join me and see if I can find something from this location. It's not easy to see, but we're expecting hurricane or winds up towards 40 meter per second. You can see the trees there are really blowing, but I'm in this sort of a sheltered side, so I'm not too worried yet. I'm at a German sort of, uh, here we are, that's what I'm supposed to say, German World War II ammo sort of uh, storage area. The Germans had some huts here and uh, they were literally, literally just uh, small wooden ammo huts and they stacked ammunition around everywhere. So you can find cartridges, you can find mine detonators, signal flares, bomb detonators, whatever. So let's see what today will bring. Using the macro racer, cool machine, you can see some of the action with that in my other videos. Um, it's really good, stable, gives off very good readings and uh, very controlled readings. So I got something here in the 20 range, so I'm gonna dig that. The German Wehrmacht here also had some training activity here. They used to have a training ground for shooting. What is that? Must be some sort of vehicle part. I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. And holy Madonna, at least a small one. Look at that. That is very exciting. Yeah, look at that. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, the wind is really picking up here. That is a item that is used inside one of the carrier cases for the artillery shells. Uh, could be the 88 millimeter. So see if I can get some of the muck off it and I'll show you a little bit more about it. Cool! It's a bit damaged but what do you expect? It's been here in the ground for more than 70 years. So basically you had your artillery shell piece, the front end, the pointy end sticking in here. So with central sort of the uh, munition inside a, a carrying container, in that way it would stay stable. And you can carry it around, one soldier carrying probably two or three of these at the same, at the same time. So very nice. I think they're called wickers, wicker carriers. I'm almost like just scraping the surfaces here and things comes keep keeps coming up. What is that? That could easily be the filling top, I think it is, from a uh, gasoline can from the Wehrmacht with the 20 liter Kraftstoff. Oh, I do think it is. It's the filler top of a Wehrmacht fuel can. Must be. Very cool. I know when the storage area was sort of active, there used to be a permanent guard hut here. So that could easily have been from them cooking or using this thing here. No markings. But the strange thing is, I read in the newspaper that after the war, uh, a couple of months after the war was finished, this area was still sort of open. It was, it was not locked down. Kids can go in and grab stuff. And uh, the excuse that the government had to not shutting it down is that it actually didn't have any money. So people went to this place trying to find rifle ammunition to go hunting and stuff like that. But at the same time, you could actually find very dangerous things like grenades and, and all kinds of nasty stuff. Ooh, at first I thought it was a Panzerfaust. I found the trigger mechanism of a Panzerfaust here once, but that's just a tube. I made a good choice coming down to this sort of plane here, which is sheltered from the worst wind, because I actually seen uh, three branches coming down now from the other side of this area, and they were huge. Big branches hit you in the head and you're gone. So it's not just the mines that are dangerous, you see. Cool, I think I found an old type of uh, crank handle to start a car. You know, probably would have 
winded this up to crank a car in the front of the engine. I really think it is. So it could easily have been from uh, one of the German Wehrmacht vehicles here. Who knows? Cool! Look at that insane power of the wind. It can actually, the, the wind can reach the top here, but not the bottom part where I am. But was it, that tree over there just dropped a, a branch and it was falling down when it was passing it. Wow, impressive. This place, I really enjoy it. It's like an oasis from the past. Let's see, oh, there's something there. Oh, scheiße. That is actually a, uh, is it really? <laughs> My God, that's a 20 millimeter flat cartridge. Look at that right in front of me here. And is that a, um, I have to clean it off in a small sort of uh, spring next to me here. Wow, unbelievable. That's a 20 millimeter flat cartridge right there in front of us. Let's check out the back, guys and, uh, and girls, of course, and see if we can uh, see some numbers. Wow! Just managed to wipe it off really good in the back. And that's the brass type, but it's sort of uh, just brass coating an uh, iron sort of thing. And on the back there, that's the most important thing. Let me put you on the macro here. There you go. It's made in 1939, it's a P490, and you have a uh, one, four and something there. And is that the Waffenamp Eagle? Let's have a look. I can't see it. Could be right in the middle. There it is. Right in the center of the frame, next to the uh, 490. That's the Waffenamp Eagle. So that's your 20 millimeter flacken cartridge from the Second World War. Micro Racer is telling me there are some sort of uh, signals on the top here. Who knows what it could be? There is something. What is that? All right. I don't know. But normally it will have something to do with. Yeah, look at that. I do think I see what it is. That is probably an ammo box, sort of a hinge latch thing. Yes, it is. Wow, so plenty of things to find here and let's do a little bit more and see if history will smile even more at us here today. That's cool. That's the ridge I'm telling you about. This is, is sort of uh, protecting my area down here. Uh, that storm is really kicking ass up there. Very little things to see here actually from that time frame, but here's a running trench. You can actually see it coming down here, passing here and over there. It's just a sort of depression in the ground. They were mainly dug for the troops to be able to run down into a trench if there was an air raid and sort of take cover for splinters and stuff like that. Not actually to fight from, but to sort of uh, survive from. <laughs> Wow, holy Madonna, I think I just made a sort of a surface find. Look at that. That is the opposite part of the stabilizer for the, uh, the artillery shell. So the shell itself would sort of stay inside the room of uh, this one and uh, the other piece that I showed you. This is inside, or I think they're called the ammo cog or because sort of a uh, carrying case. Very cool. Next to the small stream here, which I'm gonna put my magnet into later when I have the chance. Can cool. you see it? It's right there. That's a pistol cartridge. And it probably has some uh, numbers and a date. Let me see. I can't read it. But that's what I like with the spots like this. I can sort of find small pieces. I can bring them back, try to clean them up, see some dates and try to sort of put this puzzle together and make something out of it. It's another running trench and normally I will be able to find the minefield area by a lot of detonators but I haven't been able to locate it here yet. So you can actually find some trenches being dug up with sand laying on one side and mine detonators everywhere because the German troops had to sort of take the mines out of the ground themselves after the war 
and uh, a lot of them actually died doing this but this thing here I think is uh, another running trench a lot of them here so not a mine trench just found this small cash register whatever bank empty so cool small lock there's a savings box for a small kid though maybe it was used here at the spot I don't know that's cool that is like frozen out of time man look at the lid look at the winding there that is uh, genuine aluminium uh, food cans that the Germans used. There used to be sardines and stuff inside. Aluminium from the right time frame. Very, very cool. Absolutely unbelievable to see the thing on the back there as well. That's very rare to find. I guess this is about it for today. It's really started to, the wind is picking up again, you can see the trees there, I'm going dizzy just by watching them. And uh, it was just a hailstorm, very quick small hailstorm passing by here. So I think that's it for today. Nothing too much exciting coming up from the ground. We got some cartridges, we got that 20mm flat cartridge, the uh, carrying case uh, uh, items for the artillery shells, that was cool. But now I have to really hurry back here it's starting to pick up like hell i'm afraid it could be very dark very soon and this wind is sort of killing me here thanks for watching thanks for joining me on my small adventures i will definitely be back on a new adventure in the near future until then keep subscribing watching giving the thumbs up or comment i really appreciate that so until next time have a nice day and i'll see you later